We're in Oakland. Let's get the uh, let's get the ATIS. Oakland ATIS Information Hotel two three five three zero. Wind two seven zero at one six. Visibility one zero. Your clouds at one thousand two hundred. One nine thousand scattered. Temperature one seven two point one zero. Altimeter two nine or nine or five. ILS and visual approach. Runway three zero and two eight right. Construction equipment is clear of the runway one two approach and work area. Per FTC Northern one slash four five two two. Flow control to Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Phoenix, San Diego, Salt Lake. Contact clear and delivery for information. Taxiway Victor closed hazardous weather information for California available on flight service frequency. Caution, bird near airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information hotel. That was a lot to swallow, but we got it. Grand Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Juliet VFR request. Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Juliet, opening ground, state request. 513 Sierra Juliet, uh, 421 Flank Golf, Port of Port, got the Aedis. We're uh, looking for VFR 28 right to Auburn tonight. Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Juliet, Roger, just verify that Aedis is a hotel and squawk. 4531, maintain VFR out of 2,500, runway 28 right, taxi via Delta Charlie. Uh, hotel is correct for the ATIS, 4531 on the squawk and 2,500 on the altitude, 28 right, 30 Juliet. Okay, so tell them uh, who you are, where you are, where you're going, what you want to do. So today was a, uh, what I call a uh, same day turnaround. Got to take care of some uh, business. Flew down, turn around, fly home. I've uh, been driving for the whole the month. Hotel and with hotel. The uh, plane was in annual for the month of May. So I drove back and forth. A uh, 32-minute flight. And if you drive, it's like two hours with no traffic. And 240, I think I did one that was three hours. So, and people drive like, uh, like jerks. And just verify, I got the call sign correct. It's uh, Moody 231 November. So we're going to get to the end. Thank you. We're going to do the all important checklist. We're going to make sure everything's right. Safety first. And then we are going to take off. Now on takeoff, it's a full mixture, full mixture. You watch your fuel flow come up first because if you don't have proper fuel flow, it's an abort the takeoff. So fuel flow first, airspeed second. A bug could have jumped in your pitot tube. You won't have airspeed. You need airspeed. So airspeed second, then you can get to your takeoff speed and take off. And then in a twin, I like to climb out at blue line. Blue line is what the safe single engine speed is. Now granted, people will say, well, what happens if you lose an engine right away? You're going to deteriorate your, your, your speed. Okay, I understand that. I'm going to use blue line for like the first thousand feet and then I'll uh, go ahead and, and speed up a little bit. But I want to get that altitude first. Let's review the airspeed indicator quickly here. So the first thing is the VMC speed. That's the speed where you lose control of your rudder if you lose an engine. Never ever fly below that red line. The second one is a blue line I always speak about. It's the best rate of climb speed and the best rate of climb for a single engine. The yellow arc is for smooth air operations only when regarding turbulence. And lastly, the VNE is a never exceed speed. That's the structure of the airplane. So that's it. Okay, here's the uh, all important checklist coming up, and then we'll go tell the tower we're ready to go. Delta 087, runway 28 right, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 28 right, Cessna 64087. So you just heard someone cleared for the option. He's about to ask for a short approach, and then I'm going to tell the tower that we can expedite in front of him. Tower 64087, request short approach. 
Session 087, short approach approved, wind 28011. Short approach approved, 6407, thank you. Tower 513 Sierra Juliet, ready to go uh, to it, right? We can expedite. November 513 Sierra Juliet, Oakland Tower, Roger. Uh, no delay, make a right turn on course, runway 28 right, clear for immediate takeoff. Uh, 3 Sierra Juliet, we're on immediate takeoff, 28 right, on course. Okay. That guy did a short approach, so we're going to get out of his way. All right, here we go. Full mixture, fuel pumps on. Full power. Fuel flow good. Switch to airspeed, 70, 80, 95. Tap the brakes, pull the gear up. Pitch for blue line. And we got right turn on course, so we're going to go right turn on course. Air 3 Sierra Juliet radio contacts altitude. 3 Sierra Juliet even uh, 600. Thank you. Three Sierra Juliet, contact NorCal approach on one two zero point nine. Three Sierra Juliet, one two zero point nine. Thanks, Tesla. See you. NorCal, good evening. Uh, Golden Eagle five one three Sierra Juliet, checking on one thousand three hundred two thousand five hundred restricted. Number five one three Sierra Juliet, NorCal approach. What altitude you requesting in range? Three Sierra Juliet would like Bravo clearance five thousand five hundred. November 3, Sierra Juliet, clear to Bravo airspace to 5,500. 5,500, Bravo, clearance 3, Sierra Juliet, thanks. All right, so you always have to read back the Bravo clearance so it's on the tape or the recorder, uh, microchip, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and the Bravo is the airspace, class Bravo airspace, that's around major cities, Oakland, uh, it's the San Francisco Bravo. So you have to stay out of it unless you have permission to go in. Very important. Okay, so uh, let's turn the fuel pumps off one at a time, one alligator, two alligator. Okay, got the other one. So I want to end the video going over what the Bravo clearance is all about instead of just having you watch me in cruise. So Bravo clearance is Class B airspace, which you'll find around busy airports. And each segment that I've circled shows the altitude that you have to stay out of without permission. There's a lot of other rules too. So just for example, go to the far left. You see the one that's circled 100 with an underline of 21. So you always add two zeros. So that area of the Bravo airspace starts at 2,100 and is protected up to 10,000 feet. So you have to stay out of it without permission because that's where the big air carriers usually operate. And it's important to know where these areas are and to avoid them without permission to go into them. Uh, it's a lot to take in but it's uh, quite important. Thanks for riding along and see you on the next video.